probably been maybe uh, more than an hour fitting these two rods, just following the caps. Uh, that's as they should be. Just uh, uh, free, free fall. No, uh, that's that's the way it should be. No play. You should fit your rods to the crankshaft while it's out of the engine. It's much easier. You can do a better job. As a matter of fact, it's the only way to do it. Uh, we're going to get on now with, uh, well, we're going to assemble the crankcase at least. Okay, what I have done is I have tapped, I've run a tap in all of the holes in this crankcase. Made sure that all of the gasket surfaces are clean. I blew it with air, made sure everything on this part right here is as it should be. We've got the new bushing, the oil retainer. We've uh, that piece is by itself. The crank shaft. I put the governor down in yonder, and I'm not sure about these governors, or if they go in from this side, or if they go in from this side. I have found them both ways. Now these both of them, these are interchangeable. The one with the governor weight on it, the fly ball part, will have that Carter key in here and bent over here. That's in, I've already installed that in there. This, and I wanted to show you this, it, they sawed a half, that thing is sawed halfway in two right there. And what you do is you pinch that together with a pair of vice grips or the vice. And when you put it in the crank, and I did put some oil down in there and made sure that that, the governor weight is free so that it can it and 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 that governor setting is dependent on how strong the spring is now this this setting here that governor weight will come down well i'll show you what i'm what what we're working on right there now is this part right here and this is what I just now put in there is this stop screw and when this thing rotates the centrifugal force the weight of this end down here the centrifugal force will will that thing will pull itself outwards so when it comes down there what I just put in the crankshaft right there is that stop screw this being it right down here that's what I just put in there so when that weight comes down there, that's the stop for that. And and this spring right here is dependent on how far down that you adjust this screw here. And you don't make this adjustment until the engine is running. So I'm going to put that right there. And that's pretty snug. It won't work loose. And this one up here, I put down about a... It's down in there about an eighth of an inch, which is about what this one right here is, about an eighth of an inch. So, anyways, I put that in there like that, and like I say, I'm not sure if it even matters which direction that goes in. I have taken them apart, and they be both. So this is this is finished. The crankcase is finished. I have already fitted the rods to the crankshaft. I'm going to put a little oil on that. I'm going to take that back and put a little oil on it. Just a little light, a little light oil all up and down through here. Uh, just a little light oil. Let's just put a little right down in yonder. You can't get too much oil on a Maytag. Uh, write that down something or another. You cannot get too much oil on a Maytag. Okay. Oh, that feels really, really good. I believe this is going to be a, a exceptionally good engine. Okay, we got that in there like that. Now, this outboard bearing, and let's put a little oil because this is kind of, and I'm I'll, we will oil it more than this later, but on assembly. I think when we when I tighten this up, when I snug that up really really tight, I think that will be 
it might be bordered on too tight. Uh, might have to put a thicker gasket in there. Now I'm just thinking out loud on it. I don't know. That's probably about a thousandths or more. Probably. I think we'd be all right on that. I'm using that there uh, gasola. I really like that stuff. And this crankcase, you definitely want this crankcase airtight. If it can get air anywhere in this crankcase, then you're defeating the... I've sealed that up. And this nut right here is... Uh, and there's no... There's no measurement in the book on this right here as to how, how much in play there should be. There's nothing in the book about it. So, I think some is a plenty. A few thousandths is too much. This nut right here is an inch and a half, but it's such a bad casting, you actually need an inch and nine sixteenths wrench. And to tighten it, and I can feel something there, which I wanted to. I would like to have it just a shade tighter. Which I think that's good enough right there. I think that's that's plenty tight enough on that. Now let's see about this side plate. And what I'm doing is play in play from crossways from one side to the other. And well, there is some there, but y'all see that? Can y'all see that turn? That's as free, that's as free as can be, and the side play is. I, I would have to get the dial indicator out to know about that side play, in play. This goes on here, and there there is no, there, there is no, nothing goes in here. That just goes on there, and whatever that distance is, is what it is. As you can see, we, we have got that crankcase assembled. We got the governor in it and everything. All of that's assembled. The gasket... You just take a blade and just go right around yonder, okay, and get that. Now we've got a perfect fitting gasket yonder. Now what I'll do, put put some lacquer thinner on a cloth and go around yonder and get all of that gasket material off of there. The thing about this gasket sealer is, I have found out, I mean, if you remove it all, now if you leave it on there, you can't do it, but if you remove it like this right here, it's paint friendly. But you see how quick that was right there, fitting that gasket, and it's a, it's a perfect fit on that gasket, just a perfect fit. And as always, just kind of clean up as you go. Because we are going to paint this engine. I think I'm still kind of leaning towards that dark hunter green. I, I have found that works real good on them there. 90, model 92, the one cylinder. I, I've, I've kind of found that. I kind of like that. It works real good for me. But now you can see under... What we've got right there is a assembled crankcase, good, smooth, new bushings, a 1937 Model 72.